warm welcome to With My Life, the program that brings you face to face with the top politicians of the country. This week we are in the land of Kauravas and Pandavas, which has had an age-old association with Mahabharat. Yes, we are in Kurukshetra, and our guest is somebody who is an industrialist, a politician, a philanthropist, and a sports person. Let's meet Naveen Jindal this time. Naveen Jindal, member of parliament from Kurukshetra Lok Sabha constituency, was born in Hisar on March 9th, 1970. Youngest child of the late industrialist philanthropist politician O P Jindal, Naveen studied at Delhi Public School before graduating in commerce from Hansraj College in Delhi. He completed an MBA degree from the University of Texas from Dallas in 1992. Naveen is currently the chairman of Jindal Steel and Power Limited, which is part of the 17 billion dollars diversified O P Jindal Group. After completing his post graduation in the US, Naveen returned to India and began managing his father's political affairs. In 2004, he stood for elections from Kurukshetra on the Congress ticket, beating his nearest rival Abhay Singh Chautala by a margin of 1.6 lakh votes. He was re-elected in the 2009 general elections. Naveen has to his credit an initiative that led to the revision of the flag code of India which now grants every Indian citizen the right to fly the tiranga. It's my life team has reached Kurukshetra College ground where Naveen Jindal is about to land. So let's welcome him. Welcome on its valley. Thank you, thank you so much. Welcome to Kurukshetra. <laughs> Our first stop of the journey, a rousing welcome for Naveen Jindal. meeting of the day and the entire village has gathered to see their mp so one uh, very peculiar thing which i witnessed today and that was uh, the distribution of the tiranga accessories right. do you really do that regularly yeah because uh, i myself i i wear the lapel pin I wear this uh, tiranga, you know, wristband. Okay. So all the time, people are asking, you know, that they also want. Okay. So when I when I come, obviously, you know, they are very happy to receive these things. People very proudly want to display uh, their national colors. Right. So I'm very happy to distribute them. Okay. Another thing, like uh, the number of petitions which you get from the yes. people, like uh, you go from one village to the other. So how do you really register those petitions? And also about the grants which you announce, yes. how do you carry them forward? See, I have a I have a staff over here. Mm -hmm. So they whatever announcements I make. I obviously I make as many announcements hmm. as I can fulfill okay. as I can uh, I have funds in my you know MP grant funds hmm. MP lad funds so I would uh, go you know in the evening my people note down all those things and okay. before I come my team comes here and they see the what all we can do Do 
Solis' meetings are an important part of Naveen's constituency visit, where he extends a hand of support to the families of the bereaved. In this nondescript village of Sura, some families had lost their loved ones. And visit to such homes becomes all the more important when one is an area MP. Right now we are at a village called Sura which is part of the Ladwa constituency. Here Naveen is addressing the village elderly and at the same time announcing grants for infrastructure, various schemes for men, women and children. We are right now at a village called Buddha in the Ladwa constituency and we are here stopping for a lunch. Whenever you're in a constituency visit, uh, how is it like you, you, uh, I've seen many MPs carrying their own homemade tiffins, you know, so, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen you like that. But see, uh, I get so many invitations uh, from people that, you know, when you visit a village, that you must come and, uh, so whichever village uh, we're going to is around lunchtime. So when somebody invites, then, you know, it's a, it's a good occasion to meet with people there. So it's a big, uh, you know, it's a... One gets to just relax and also talk to people while we eat. And you give your preferences like for the typical Haryanvi, Zaini, <laughs> Lassi? No, I don't. But you know, people automatically get to know mm. because obviously whenever we invite a guest, you know, we know we want to know what the guest eats. So, I, I mean, I've been here for nine years. So wherever I go, I get the same food everywhere. <laughs> short break now don't go away we'll come back with lots more on Naveen Jindal back in a moment welcome back you're watching it's my life it looks up high and be Naveen Jindal Exercises and workouts are something which Naveen never misses, even if he's in his constituency. We are at the Dronachar Stadium of Kurukshetra. Let's catch him. Session? Perfecto. Muy buena sesión. Y tenemos... Eh, tenemos para terminar TRX in, y estiramiento. Por supuesto, por supuesto. Naveen, this is no me preocupo. absolutely Greek to me. You guys are talking it? Yeah, Spanish. 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 Okay, so. He speaks little, some English. So I said, no, you must speak only in uh, Spanish with me. Because I used to learn Spanish earlier. So, so at least I keep in touch with the language some. Okay, so Mark, uh, he's basically your student, no? Yes. So what, what, what kind of a student is he? Yeah, is he uh, obedient? No, it's, it's a uh, very perseverant man. Okay. He's really perseverant with the objective. We work... I don't understand the word, what he spoke. Perse per perse perseverant? Perseverante? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, lo siento. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. That's interesting. So you, you're quite regular uh, even when you're here in the constituency? Yes. You know, because I really feel, you know, your body is is your temple. You know, you have to look after it. 
nobody else is going to look after look after you so we will we'll ask some uh, some workout tips what more are you wanting him to do now we uh, this month we are working cardio work we are running we are swimming we are uh, making either sport and uh, riding he is a polo player and we focus in the training for 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 the polo player no? he always has time for he make his workout from the dronachar stadium let's take you to the congress bhavan and see how navin energizes the cadres and spells out his political agenda What is the biggest challenge for you right now as an MP? The biggest challenge that I face is basically I am a legislator, mm. and people expect me to be an administrator okay. because they have all sorts of uh, demands. They want their roads to be fixed. Mm. They want the ele electrical lines to be there. Mm. They want electricity. They want uh, drain. They want water. The education. So we try to do all these things, but mm. these jobs are really that of a. Administrator, not a legislator. Uh, hard to convince people on this front that uh, obviously you have to say that you can do everything. Yes. So no, we can't how, say how, this. How do you do that? No, we just try to hmm. do the best uh, we can. Okay. You know, it's not as if uh, any of the officials or they are reporting to you, but we just use our moral power. Hmm. Okay, we are representing these people, so we take up all these issues. We uh, monitor everything in once in three months. All the schemes of government of India. Uh, in rural development and now even uh, the national health mission yeah. so we're reviewing and you know the saying that what gets uh, reviewed gets done <laughs> so we try to do that also recently rahul gandhi had uh, expressed concern over the local governance you know at the village uh, level how sarpanches don't have uh, the powers you know we need to empower them that's what he said is the sarpanch really empowered or how do you how do you boost the morale how do they well, really i feel work? Uh, a lot has changed Haryana uh, especially has given a lot of powers to the Panchayati Raj institutions, PRIs as we call them. So Haryana, they are sufficiently empowered. Mm -hmm. But uh, being empowered is one thing; being responsible is another. Since you are an industrialist, do you think that the people expect more from you as a politician? Yes, uh, expectations from me are more. Obviously, people say, "Okay, if you can't find us a government job." you know find us a job in your uh, company or you know if you can't uh, give us uh, get us grants from the government for this project or something right. you know you can give money from your own self mm. talking about uh, 2014 elections uh, how do you see the congress prospects uh, coming up well i feel that uh, in spite of uh, you know what we keep seeing in media in spite of all the you know different forecasts there are there mm -hmm. i think congress will do uh, quite well especially in haryana because haryana even the haryana government has been is uh, congress government mm -hmm. we given feel a lot that of that anti incumbency could be a drawback uh, for the 2014 elections well in haryana i don't think so one thing which i observed in the morning today when you were addressing the people and you were talking about uh, population control which very few mps i have heard. i went to I have been to many constituencies but i have rarely seen any mp talking about population control so what is this i mean what is this agenda i basically want to know? yeah you see i feel uh, when we talk about uh, prosperity then mm -hmm. how do a people become more prosperous so one thing that directly affects them is how many children they have mm -hmm. so i make it a point that as many places as i can then i must speak about it okay if i speak about it then you know maybe few people few young people who are going to be planning their family you know it may have some effect on them yeah. was it was it an easy entry for you in politics see uh, definitely if your father has been there and he has represented the area right so when he was coming here i was also coming here mm -hmm. so you make uh, contacts your dad never told you that you know you should not come into politics maybe you should just uh, look after the business <laughs> no my father didn't say that okay. because so it was a willful entry in politics yeah it was a willful entry and um, i have three elder brothers okay. so none of them were even remotely interested in politics <laughs> so my father always saw that i have some interest so he only encouraged me he never discouraged me but, but you're a big in, i mean you're a big industrialist how do you really balance out your time as an industrialist and as a politician how do you really balance well i spend around uh, 60% i would say 
time in parliament or my constituency mm. or in political work. Okay. And then rest of the 25% uh, I do spend in my company. I, I go to earn a living. <laughs> and uh, rest time, I'm mean, I also very keen on sports. Mm. I just don't know. Some would do. say when you talk about earning a living, some would say somebody who's a philanthropist doesn't need to worry about these things. No, no, things. I have to worry a lot, <laughs> you know, because I have to, I have to work uh, very hard and I have to make sure that whatever projects are on hand, whatever responsibilities are there, they, are, they do well. Very few people, Naveen, know that you were perhaps the first person who introduced a private member bill on food security. Yes. I don't think many people know about that. And, in uh, 2006, right. I had uh, moved a resolution yeah. that, uh, you know, I had called it a Zero Hunger Act. Yeah. So basically that there should be, nobody should uh, sleep hungry, nobody, mm -hmm. we should be, because this is a, the most basic need is that somebody needs to be full. But tell me honestly, yeah. don't you ever feel, or maybe just a pinch of that idea comes to your mind that the party is not giving you that uh, due credit because you are the first person to deduce the practice. No, it's member. okay. Yeah. You talking about it. Yeah, but it's okay. I don't uh, really need any credit. Mm -hmm. I just want that this uh, food security bill should be passed so that uh, there is no one in the country that, that goes hungry. Congress Bhavan in Kurukshetra, where Naveen Jindal now is going to address the party workers. Look, I also know that you love me very much. You also have a lot of hope for me. And I also know that I am not perfect. I also know that I am not perfect. I have never said that I am the best. I have never said that I am the best. I have never said that I am the best. I have never said that I am the best. लेकिन मैं कोशिश करता हूं कि भाई जितनी मेरे में समझ है मैं अच्छा काम करके दिखाऊं During the people-to-people -people contact, taking petitions from them, listening to their grievances, and most importantly, noting and remembering them becomes the most challenging task. Navina was wanting to know from you the way you are energizing the cadres. We just saw. Uh, don't you feel that I mean? You, you do aspire to come at the center, the way you've been energizing the cadres and the kind of support you're building up for Congress. You don't aspire to come at the center? Well, uh, members of parliament are in the center as such. And other than that, I mean, I just try to do uh, my role as a member of parliament. I try to do it well. And uh, whatever responsibility is given to me, whatever committees I am on, I try to do a good job. So generally what happens is that you, you also had various trucks with the controversies. Yes. And uh, obviously you have to take it in a sporting stride. Yes. How do you really, I'm not getting into any of the controversies specifically, well, but initially, how do you really take it? I know. So initially uh, when controversies used to arise, I used to, I guess, get more affected. Mm -hmm. But now I've been through so many controversies, you know, it doesn't uh, bother me too much. Because if you know that you, you know, done, um, You've been going the right right way. Mm. You've been trying to do your best. But still, you know, you may make a mistake, or it may be seen mm. to be a wrong thing. That is, if you have done the wrong thing. Whereas you may not have done the wrong thing. So I do not get affected by, by all these things. If time हो गया break लेने का new गए new आए ठीक है what is that how is it हरियाणवी yeah this is हरियाणवी मतलब if time हो गया break लेने का और new गए और new आए well let's take a break at this point in time lots more when we come back see you later 
Welcome back. You're watching It's My Life with Naveen Jindal from Kurukshetra. We are back to Jindal Polo Farm in Noida. So, uh, Naveen, how did you develop this passion for horse riding and when did you do that? I was always very uh, fond of animals and I used to see my father ride. My okay. father used to ride in the mornings. He used to go, you know, along the canal okay. in Hisar when I was very young. Mm. And then later on, uh, when we moved to Delhi, then I joined uh, the Presence Estate Polo Club here. Okay, okay. So I joined uh, and then I, used to, I learned uh, riding in a proper way okay. and then I also started to play some polo and when I started to just hit a ball around on the horse, it was too much fun, you know. Okay. So let's see you doing that now. <laughs> Now let's see Naveen shooting. Now look at this. Naveen Jindal, the shooting champion. Wow! I have the national record 122 out of 125. Ah! See when you break everything is smoke. Now look at this. Is hard say a shoulder can the feature bundu. Okay. Okay? Okay. Left palm with other weight. Okay, fire. What a force, man. Let's take you now to Naveen's 6 Prithvi Raj Road residence in Delhi, where you will meet the page 3 couple. So, Shalu and Naveen, again, uh, welcome to It's My Life. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us something, like how difficult or how easy is it for you two to sit together like this? I think quite often. Okay. We do discuss uh, quite often. I mean, maybe it's not uh, very long discussions. Okay. Uh, because say in the evening, you know, say one gets very tired. In the daytime, one is, you know, rushing here and there. But still, while traveling, while t it's a lot of time, we do get a lot of time to discuss. But I think you're an exception because, you know, like... Uh, Many politicians with whom we speak to, they say, you know, that this is one casualty, like we don't get enough time to spend with the family. Uh, I'm sure you are not a complaining wife at all, Shalu. Not at all. In fact, I believe in quality of time rather than quantity. And over the years, you know, we've kind of started respecting each other's lives a lot. And I also keep very busy with my own, you know, interests yeah. and support Naveen in whatever he wants to do and he supports me as well. So whatever time we spend together is really meaningful. In fact, she is more busy. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I have no time. <laughs> so. But uh, it would be interesting to know that how did the two of you meet, actually? It was an arranged marriage. Okay. So there was a common family friend who introduced the two families. And you know, the first time we met at the airport, at Delhi airport. Okay. At the old Delhi airport. Okay. Yeah. After you got married, I mean, you have your own identity, you're a, a known face, a Kuchipuri dancer, 
and very few women you know in the political circle you know get that kind of a support especially from the husband especially from the you know the in-laws family that you know in politics maybe you know one would see the women taking a back seat back seat or they would be in politics very active but very few people in performing arts like you're doing yes uh, i think uh, god is very kind that i have a great support system behind me and also i really believe in what navin says and always tells me that if you have it in you, in you then do it so you you get enough time and whenever she's performing you go to see her performances yeah i love to go see her performances to when she is performing performing uh, you know uh, like a professional right. so i you know i feel very very proud it's very inspiring for me to see her both of you have two kids and uh, what is it like really you get enough time uh, to spend with the kids to go to their regular parent teachers meeting yeah shalu goes for the uh, you know parent teacher meets i also once in a while i'm not able to go mm. a lot of times i'm traveling those times and uh, we would like to actually spend lot more time with kids but kids are even busier than us but uh, shalu you 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 look after their studies or they study on their own what is it right I used to look after their studies you know uh, but both my kids now are in senior school okay and I still look after mm -hmm. but at the same time they're very independent okay so like Naveen said you know the computers so and you don't have to internet. get after like the regular mothers you know like no uh, sit down study not really I don't like to do that okay. but sometimes I feel I should mm -hmm. but I do it in a very diplomatic way okay so that you know they don't think that I'm you know mm -hmm. after them all the time okay so I try to do it in a positive way mm -hmm. but I mean you're living got five lives you know and which one would you want people to remember you as as an industrialist as a philanthropist like like what as a politician all of us are you know living uh, playing many roles i would not say dif living different lives but playing many roles at the same time so and it doesn't matter say when i go as a polo player nothing else matters so as a polo player i want to be remembered as a as a good polo player as a shooter i would want to be remembered as a good shooter in the field of politics say for my constituents in the parliament amongst my colleagues i would be you know like to be remembered as a as a good parliamentarian right. who who did something who did something good for the people of the country as an industrialist i would like to create wealth for the country so you want to be remembered as an achiever <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm sure you will and wish all your dreams come true it is really lovely uh, having both of you on this program okay thanks okay, navin thank thanks so much Thank for you. coming to it's my nice and thanks shalu to you too